Gojo is dead, but through the power of copium, he will come back to life. Firstly, Gojo's head is still intact, as he told Toji that he lost because he didn't go for the head. So by using RCT, which is done through the brain, Gojo can return. In the afterlife, it was made very clear that Gojo used sorcery in a selfish manner, to satisfy himself rather than to protect the ones close to him. He did not feel full satisfaction by fighting Sukuna. Rather, he wanted Geto and his loved ones beside him. Nanami states that when you die, you can go north and return as a new version version of yourself or go south to return to your old self which is similar to Buddha where as a child he also took seven steps north with lotuses appearing with each step and the lotuses symbolize spiritual awakening and rebirth. Gojo quoted Buddha throughout the heavens and earth and Buddha was 29 years old when he began his quest for enlightenment which Gojo happens to be now. So with Gojo humble and his ego destroyed his sense of self will be corrected by forsaking his title of the strongest and returning with enlightenment.